So it's a six lane uh, pool. We'll host um, Kent County's high school team here as well as do learn to swim programming. This is uh, for stay and play. So if a parent, I'll come in. Right. There'll be cubbies. I'll check in. And so if I've got an older kid, I'll go in here where there'll be activities. Programs. If I've got a younger kid, good morning. Younger right. kids, they'll come here. All day and these are two large community rooms. Yeah. Programs like you know, balance and stability classes, enhanced fitness, which is actually happening at the Y here right now. Um, our Parkinson's program, Rock Study, Cancer Survivor. These will all be programs we can host here. You can open this up into one space or separate it. This is another meeting space, and then this is a commercial kitchen. We can do cooking classes. So this is a full two double gym. So full both ways. So you can play two full games this way, so it'll have basketball, volleyball, and pickleball. Hallway here, you've got bathrooms. Uh huh. The so women's and men's, but then also here, you have. These are individual changing and oh, stalls. Uh -huh. So, like, if I come here with my six-year-old daughter, yeah. instead of having to send her into the men, yeah, women's, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can use these to do it. And there's yeah. five of them. So, this will be the wellness center. Uh, and so, these are uh, the rows where all the cardio equipment will go. So this will all be cardio equipment. You can kind of look and overlooks the lobby and all that. So, when this is all done, see there's a handrail here. This is all just open space. Wow. And this will be um, weight equipment, free weight mm -hmm. equipment, stretching area. The nice thing about this is it overlooks the pool. Yeah. So you've got nice big open space. Yeah. And this here stays open. Mm. And so if you wanted to come in, like I know you love to walk. Yes. So this is a place where you can just come in and have at it. Especially yeah. So this is one of the larger group exercise rooms. And this is the second room. But we really think we'll serve about 4,000. Out of 19,000 people in the county, we'll serve about 4,000 on a regular basis. Something of this magnitude doesn't happen very easily. Um, and so, you know, while some of those conversations in Kent County go back a decade, um, for this to really come to fruition in the kind of right pre pandemic is pretty amazing and um, every time I walk through the facility um, I'm just humbled by the opportunity that we're going to have to serve the community and it's just an incredible blessing and so knowing being a product of the Y as a kid and the benefit that I uh, was fortunate enough to have growing up in a Y knowing here's a community that really hasn't had those resources you know opportunities for kids to swim a place where everyone can come together uh, really being able to partner and collaborate to strengthen the community. I mean, it's just everything you could ever hope yeah, for. Yeah, so this project's 52,000 square feet. Uh, as you saw, it's got a double gym, which is going to be a great resource for us. So a full-size pool to host the swim team and um, learn to swim programming and every really resource you could ever need for a community. The total cost is right at $15 million. So it's not, not a small project. So we still got some heavy lifting to do. We've got about a million and a half dollars that we still need to raise, but um, we're close. And uh, we're still, despite the challenges you see on TV with supply chain issues, we're still hopeful that um, we'll be ready to uh, serve our community uh, by the end of this year, early, early 2022. Yes. We've got a great leadership council of volunteers, like a local board, they're really navigating the types of programs and services we want to be prepared to, to provide. And so um, they're meeting monthly now and as we ramp up. You, know, it's, you want to have a facility that the, the general uh, population, the majority of the population can get to. This location, I think, is ideal from that standpoint. And so then, you know, for Rock Hall and other communities, if there's gaps and needs, we'll figure out what that looks like and we make, we'll make sure we address them. But um, for kids after school, being able to have a bus route to the Y makes a lot of sense, and we see that in nearly every community that we're at. Uh, we've just been the recipient of some pretty um, incredible godly gifts, and our goal is, is to to make good on that and change lives in a positive way. And. Uh,